Hi, my name is Vandad Nahavandipur, and I am the author of iOS 4 Programming Cookbook. And this is the third video in the series of videos that I'm preparing for you, showing you how to replace uh, debugging with logging. So trying to make use of some um, macros, trying to make use of some uh, directives in Objective-C in order for you to write applications that are easier to uh, debug and um, sometimes you can you can even completely skip debugging and just go straight to logging and having a look at the logs and the reason behind this is in applica if, if you're working in a company and if, if you have um, multiple people working in, on the same project and you have people living in other countries, working on the same source code. You have testers living in India, you have testers living in uh, Spain, you have testers living in many different countries and developers in many different countries. It's gonna be very difficult for you to debug an application like that because many parts of the applications application aren't written by you. So, uh, for example, you send an application to a tester in some other remote, in a remote place in s somewhere in the world, and you have no idea where that person is living, and that person is telling you, okay, I'm testing this application, and I'm testing the part that you haven't coded, however, the application is crashing. And usually testers can't really give you much information for you to determine what the issue is, and they, they don't even know what the crash logs are. So, if there is some, some sort of a way for you to create an application that can output some sort of log and you can just have a look at the logs and see what the issue is. It's much, much easier to do that compared to debugging a big application. So in this video, I want to teach you a couple of other things that have not been taught in the other two videos. And um, the most important thing that I want you to get from this video is how to determine which line of the code in which class and in which method is printing what. In the other videos, we talked about the classes, we talked about the methods, but we don't know yet how to determine which line inside a class is printing a log. So that's what we are gonna learn in this video. Also, we're gonna learn how to put together all the material that we've been taught in the other two videos and, and also this video into one macro or a couple of macros that we can just call from anywhere in our source code. So let's go ahead and create a window-based application. I've already done this. And um, so the first thing that I want you to learn from this video is that there is a very, very handy GCC macro that you can use. And that, that is double underline, line, double underline. And what this little macro here does is it determines which line of code we are currently on at the moment. And this is an integer. So let's go ahead and NS log this. If I run the application, <clears throat> run the application here you can see that it says line 20 now look at the source code here it's line 20 isn't that awesome so in the other videos in the other two videos and here are the links to them on the left side there is a link for you if you can click on this link on the left side this is the first video in the series and on the right side it's the second video in the series if you're viewing this video on a mobile device such as an iPhone or an iPad, you cannot see these um, annotations, but I, I suggest that you look for those videos uh, manually, basically. You have to do that, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so if we put this little trick here together with the rest of the things that we learned in the other video videos, which were This little guy gets the class name, uh, the, the current class name, and gives us a string. And the other one is in a string from selector, CMD. This guy tells us the method that we are using at the moment. So let's say I go ahead and NS log something here. I say, duh, 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 line percentage percentage D says a string. So here what I've done is that I'm saying in the less than and greater than signs, put, a, put, put an object, or let's say in this case a string, in the brackets, in the uh, square brackets, put a string or an object again. And we wanna print out the line, which is an integer, we say percentage D. And here we, said, we say percentage 
at sign. And this is also going to print an, uh, print out an object. So let's go ahead and pass the parameters that we want. I will just put the class name here. So I want to say in this class, this method at this line is printing out my text. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Look at this. This is login app delegate, which is my class here, as you can see. In this method, application did finish launching up with options at line 23 is printing out my text. Isn't that perfect? There you go. My text at line 23. And you can see because this line here is on line 23. So if, if you want to get a better result, I suggest we go and put this whole thing in one line because then the line number will correspond to the exact place where the text is getting printed to the console. So let's run this again. And now it says at line 20. Perfect. It's line 20. So you can see here, we usually what we do in Objective-C, we just go ahead and we say NS log something, and then we say NS log self is equal to, and then we pass self to this. So these are very tricky stuff that you, it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to do them every time. Just put the NS log here, put the class there, put the selector and the line number, everything. I just suggest we go ahead and create a macro out of this and we call the macro log. Okay, this macro accepts one parameter which is what that it has to print out. So let's say that what is going to be this text. So the way we're going to call this log is we just say log my string. And we expect that macro to print out all these things. So what I will do, I literally will copy paste this here. And I will replace this text with what, which is the parameter to the macro. And I will remove this from here remove the semicolon because we always want to have the semicolon at the end of the line, which we want the programmer to put the semicolon. So here we go. I compile this and I will run it. Let's see what happens. See? Perfect. Line 22 is printing these things. So we don't really have to type this every time. I'll just go ahead and say log. For example, self. See what happens here? There we go. So this, this is working perfectly now. There are a couple things that I suggest that you do. In many places inside an application, you are going to want to print out things that are very, very important. So you can imagine, for example, you and 10 other people are working on the same source code now. All of you are printing out logs to the console and having a look at all these logs is going to be a very, very difficult task. You especially in some cases want to find out exactly what the problem is. And going through the logs, just having a look at every single thing that's printed here is, is a really uh, difficult task. So what I suggest is you create two other uh, macros here, call one of them warning, the other one failure. And in here, just print warning. And here, just print failure. And if somebody says, okay, NS log, my text, NS, that sorry, puts log my text, then says, oh, by the way, something for example, has happened that I have to print something very important to the logs. We'll just say warning. Be careful with this text here and something else that says failure. Okay, I'll just put this here. Something bad happened. Okay, give it a go. What did I put here? Failures I put here. Okay, sorry about that. Failure. Run the application. Now, if you have a look at this, you can easily see that, okay, if you're running, for, if you're looking for something bad that has happened in your application, for example, a parameter that was not supposed to be nil is getting passed as nil to a method, then you can, for example, call failure, say, okay, hey, by the way, I cannot work without this parameter, you just print out failure. If something happens in your application, then you just have a look at the logs and you say, okay, I'm just looking for the failures. I'm not looking for warnings. I'm not looking for normal logs. So this is just, just a way to make it a bit easier for you, for testers or whoever is looking at the logs to determine what has happened. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This video was quite short. Um, the most important thing in this video was, there were two important things actually. One was for you to learn the 
double underline, line, double underline, this macro right, right here. So this prints out as an integer, the current line number. And I also wanted you to understand that you can put these things, these tricks into one little macro and you can create different, various different types of macros based on your needs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down here in this box and I will do my best replying.